it just might be the ultimate way to express yourself in an artistic way. It's, it's fashion, it's crafting, and the result is a creative output that is all your own. We are giving a plain pair of pennies some aftermarket add-ons. You might want to team up with your teens for an afternoon where you queued up your kicks. Artist Johnny Hartman is here to inspire all of us. It's great to see you. Hey, this is going to pull in all shoe lovers out there. And I've been seeing bits and pieces of this on social media. But tell us how you did this and why. Okay, this is so easy. You take your scrappy kicks and make them happy kicks. <laughs> and we just need fabric, Mod Podge, scissors. That's it. It becomes a customized shoe at that point. Customized. And you can take it and upcycle it. Or you can take your basic tenny and customize it for your unique style. And even the non artsy <clears throat> among us yes. can do this. Yes, it is so easy. And even my teenage son got into it. Oh, so really? I will have to show you what he chose. Okay, that's fun. Yeah. Oftentimes we say circle up your teenage girls or your, your daughters or granddaughters. Circle up the guys too. Absolutely. Okay, all right, so t show us what you've done. Okay, so here's my nice old Chuck Taylor. Good, reliable. Lived in, loved. Trusty Dusty. But what we did here was add just some ribbon for the lace. What, Johnny? And the sides are just a scrap of fabric. Looks really cool. Just like a swirled print. Yeah. And the way that it attaches is super easy. It doesn't even look like the same shoe. I know, isn't it so fun? This it's is kind of the monochromatic so where every day look, but the before and after is super fun, this right? This has grow up potential too. Like I can oh, be yeah. a cute Nana running around in these. Oh, so fun. Yeah. But yeah, so to get it, that on the fabric, I just make a little template okay. out of tissue paper. Okay. Make sure it kind of fits on the side here. Uh-huh. And then I'll cut my fabric out. Now you were smart to choose a fabric that had the base color of the shoe because that template doesn't have to be cut to perfection. Right. Right, and the gray I, kind of marbles I in. am not a perfectionist when it comes to detail and no one's going to be looking that close at your shoes. Yeah. Just just do it, make sure that it looks fun and feels fun. And once we cut out the fabric, uh -huh. you Mod Podge. And I'll show you kind of on this shoe right here. Okay. This one <laughs> is my teenage son's and our last name is Hartman. Uh -huh. So he's like, yeah, mom, let's do hearts for Hartman. So we've got this shoe going on. And the fun thing about fabric nowadays is there's so many colors and textures. And this right here, this piece of fabric, all I did was cut out oh, it the was, heart. It was begging to be cut up. Right? These yes. are just so simple. Cut them out and then ends up like an applique Clever. right here. Yes. And we Mod Podge this on. And to Mod Podge, I don't know if you've used Mod Podge before, but it is my favorite. But usually with paper, you yeah, know what I mean? It works with fabric wonderful. Okay. And you just dip it in there. That's a perfect brush. What, yeah, what is it's that? a Mod Podge brush. What? You can get Mod Podge brushes that go with okay. the Mod Podge. I've been doing this They're for a while. They're just so much better. No one has mentioned a Mod Podge brush. Yes, they just have this like stiffness and texture that makes it right. so much easier to go on. So I've got this glued on the back and I'll just press it whichever way I feel looks great. Press it on there. You kind of press it down with your fingers. You can adjust it, slide it around. And then once it's on. Do you have to do the top layer? Yes. Okay. So you want to seal the top layer and Mod Podge tends to give a little bit of like waterproofing and makes sure that the edges don't fray. Uh-huh. But yeah, that. And it will seal and, and, and dry clear. Oh, it will dry clear. Fabric and you too. know what, I have to mention too, there are so many different sheens of Mod Podge and I tend to like the matte, matte because it's not glossy. There's really glossy if you want to glam it up. Yeah. But matte is my favorite. It and will probably blend with the fabric really Yeah, nicely. it blends with the fabric. Yeah. So this looks a little gluey right now, but once it dries, you'll see it kind of just okay. dries perfectly. Proof in your teenage son, but kids will get a kick out of this, no pun intended. They will get a <laughs> kick out of it for sure. Um, these are some other oldies and I just kind of Shoot. cut stripes. I did the tongue. So you can go crazy, it's limitless to what you can do with okay. it. I, I've been spying a few of these more designer looking sneakers, you know, with like the stripes of pattern and the different yeah. texture and color. I always resist buying because I'm like, I can only wear that with so many outfits. If this is a throwaway pair of shoes anyway, Absolutely. and I'm giving this new extra life and I do only wear it with a certain color palette or a certain outfit, who cares? This right, and if you don't want to commit to gluing to your shoes, this is a real simple way to um, up level it. Okay. And these are just the grow grain ribbon and I took, this is like gold duct tape, mini gold duct tape. And I taped it on the toe and oh, made the laces, the goodness. ends of the laces, the gold as well. And then you can just take it off. 
It's not permanent. You like these shoes. You want to switch up next week with like polka dot laces or whatever. You just have a little different style to your fashion and... Oh, this is so fun. Where are you getting this great, thick Grogain ribbon? This is just from any fabric store. You can get it in different lengths. And the reason I like the really thick is it almost looks woven. Yes. Right? Like this is about an inch thick and this is Do you need half more than you think for the lace effect? Yeah, you yeah. need a little bit more. I'd go yeah. a little bit longer. But, you know, all in all, this is such a short and easy project to fun. do. This is and fun. This is so fun. And so affordable. Yeah. But, yeah, I I'm mean. I'm smitten. Nice job. Nice job. Thank and now you're you. looking at all your shoes and thinking, what can I do? <laughs> I know. Good thing I saved all my old shoes. Now I can, I have a whole new yeah. shoe wardrobe. Well, and, and dipping into the fabric stash because you only need a little bit as those, I love that flowered pair so much. Johnny, thank so you. Fun. You're welcome. Where can we connect with you online? You can find me on Instagram at Johnny Hartman Art. Okay. And you do all sorts of creative projects. Yes. We'll meet you there. You should be following her. If not, go to our website. We'll link you over and you can follow along too. Thank you so much. Thank you.